a news. And here is Simonson starting the match on the left lane. That still surprised me. I was surprised when it ain't lay there the right way, but it, it doesn't go through the pins the same way on this right lane as the left lane. So Anderson with a messenger. What do you think about the way that Simonson is approaching the lanes as compared to Anderson? Do we, do we have any idea of you know what we're going to – Well, what we might see here? He did switch to an alpha He's cross. Gonna He's going to keep migrating is what he's going to do. So, Great shot here. Cool From camera our production angle. crew, yeah. nice camera angle, laying Wolf. right open. Simonson, the double hander, delivers the double. It is now at an event like this could could push the the tide in there in one of their favors as Anthony gets a little oh. kick. So Andrew Anderson suddenly finds himself down by 10, 20 actually, and that ball gets way wow. right on the way out. Thank you. Get in there. And Chris, this is shaping up to be a high-scoring championship match, the way things are going. Consistent. And, and I meant to say throwing the reactive and, and pitching it right. And as we look at Simonson, gets the wow. strike again. Wow, in pretty good shape now. So a lot of pressure now on Anderson, who hasn't missed much in this stepladder, but needs to keep going. He, and he we does. bowl through on flow bowling. And uh, so this match is going to continue at a pretty quick pace. Neither of these guys is particularly slow oh. either. And look at the crossover. That was uh, – but once it picks up going across there, it's – oh. And I will – pattern, like you said, Chris, you don't have to miss by too much left, and it's going to take off. No, the middle of the pattern is still very short. The, the spot right of 10 has gotten long, much longer. Stats proved it was the lowest scoring pattern uh, – pair – uh, by far, and with urethane going early, and uh, that one really urethane hard to get it far enough right, and then he gets and, it done. Wow, nice job! Nine steps up and throws a double here, and we we tighten things up really yeah. quickly. Chance to get it to single digits if he can get a double, and Ooh. it was a like similar look to what yeah. we saw. Sticking around for <laughs> way Andrew, longer than anybody Andrew wants to see. Really could have used a strike right there, though. He gets the yeah, spare. Right. So here we go, eighth frame, working on a spare. Looks like a better shot as there. The... And so by making a bad one in the sixth, you also end up missing a move. We're not done yet. Simonson can't add to his lead here, but he can oh, lose a little bit off. A little tricky spare here. Careful. And he misses uh, it. Three frames later, I... I shoot 150 the next game, and my, I couldn't hit the, <laughs> the one in the front. Whoa. He got that one all the way to it. Simonson. Ninth frame, working on a spare. Pretty solid shot, and the messenger tomahawks across. It would be his third title of the season. For a double, and the lead. Ooh. And the pin rolls on the deck. Easier said than done because Simonson just opened on that right lane moments yep. ago. It's a big goal. It's it's following him everywhere, including the European tournaments. I think it, it played a part in. Sometimes uh, can be tough to get it done. So let's see what Simonson does. A strike, and he's the winner. And yes. Simonson with a perfect strike in the 10th. With a Simonson victory. We, we talked about it on flowbowling.com before this week and said that Simonson needed to find a way on to get a win. shot in the 10th. Easily could have been right Great action him. guy. Uh, not afraid to bowl for, for any amount. And, uh, and a great champion, Anthony Simonson. Congratulations.